Hi there everyone, welcome back to Brent James. Time for another shave. <coughs> Thursday in the Easter weekend over here. I uh, have not been having a shave since Monday, so I have three days of growth. I got such a really, really, really close shave, especially down on my neck. Uh, on Monday's three pass shave that I actually ended up with some irritation uh, on Tuesday which I tend to do if I had have a really really close shave and I got that so I found out that I would give my skin a little bit of rest for a couple of days I know the irritation has kind of healed up you can see a little tendency of some redness down here but it's very little so it's okay I think we're good to go Gonna try a, for me a new soap today. This has been out for a while and actually it has been in my house since uh, the release uh, around Christmas times. It's a PA soap, it's a lump of coal. <laughs> I just uh, have uh, not come around to it yet and I had forgotten about it and then now uh, we need to try this stuff out. It's a very special soap, never seen a soap like this before. It's black it's look it looks like straight coal and the scent is really interesting when i put the scent nose here but i get like a sparkling fire in a cabin a very suitable scent for winter we have been having a lot of cold days over here the last uh, days very cold for um, april to be it has been very various from 40 and up to low 50s Fahrenheit. So nice to give that a try. It's in the CK6 formula, which I know from before is good. As you can see, it's quite a bit of soap in the lid. So I'm gonna try to load my brush straight on the lid and just let the container be for now. Gonna use a PA brush. This is the um, Atomic Rocket 26mm uh, synthetic knot. Just gonna wet that in some water and flick it out. And then we we'll start to load up here. I'm really interested in what kind of ladder this will produce. Which color the load seems to turn into a little greyish it's charcoal in the soap that's a thing to mention which is supposed to have great properties for the skin in cleansing and that kind of stuff I think we're good to go with that load gonna add some cold water to my face Scoop off the proto leather. Yeah, it's really grey. I don't know if you can see. Just rinse off the lid. Plenty of soap in the lid for several shades actually. I just want to give you a color comparison if you take a look at the lid which is white and you can probably see it that the ladder is a little bit grayish which is interesting never used a soap with a gray ladder before never used a shaving soap with charcoal either So oh, here we go. Really great scent. Know this brush as well, great knot. And great chunky handle. Which I like. I find myself to prefer buying a bit of bigger handles 
I just tend to make a little bit less mess. At least with my blathering technique. And as I know from before, sick as it can take a really good drink of water, so oops. Don't know if I will throw around a lot of this rather actually. Why did it have, did that hit? Hmm. Yeah, so we're in the Easter over here for you who celebrate that. Don't know with you, but uh, here we have uh, egg hunting with the kids and that sort of stuff. Easter eggs. There it is. And yellow decorations and flowers and chickens and rabbits and that sort of thing. Things. Seems to be another great. Lathering like every other CK6 soaps. Just another color. More water needed. <laughs> Just gonna go for two pauses today. Go for par. Don't wanna irritate my skin again. Maybe some pickups. We'll see. Great leather. Gonna go with that. So, who is the Easter traditions where you are? Do the kids go for egg hunting? Do you do Easter decorations with little color, kind of yellow stuff? We don't do a lot, but a little. Razor Choice by 1930s Gillette. Short comb, common bar handle with a third use astro green. Really smooth racer. No trouble with three days of growth. Lather is rinsing off with ease, so it's hydrated. Really great slickness on this CK6 formula, could easily give it 
a much more water, but uh, this is okay. Really, really good soap. But then again, I've never come across a bad soap from PA. Nor have I mean, yet to come across a scent I don't like. I haven't tried so many of them. Okay, that was a nice response. <coughs> Quick wins. I can feel I nicked myself. Mm. Yeah, a little nick on the chin. That's okay. Yeah, this brush and this leather is like dragging a cloud over your face. Love that feeling. But it was my knee scratching uh, at, the, at the shelf under the sink. Okay. Second pass across the grain. Yeah, it's said to be better weather tomorrow, much more warm. Actually, I think it's gonna hit high 50s, which I look forward to. That would be great. February was warmer than April has been, at least mostly of April has been quite cold. We even had snow. One more of the days in early April, which is unusual. Going really easy at my neck, don't wanna 
irritated again. So, I'm just gonna have a quick feel about. Yeah, we are close enough. Call it there, going down for a cold water rinse. Bring out the good old alum block. Which is going into pieces because I wasn't let it dry on every side. A little bit of a sting where I had that nick. Not much rather than that. That was a really good triple shape for my standards anyway. Great soap. I'm gonna rinse out my bowl. I'm going down for a last cold water rinse. Yeah, Adam kills every little piece of slickness mm. but I find it has good properties for the skin so I'll continue using it just rinsing it off okay I'm gonna use the matching splash lump of coal naughty artisan aftershave colon Dinotred, alcohol, peppermint, hydrosol, essential fragrance oil, glycerin, cucumber seed extract, and organic aloe vera. Almost impossible to take because the bottle is filled to the rim. Oh, it's sealed. Let's see if we can uh, move that away. Nice restrictor on the top. Wow, a little bit more from neck, just because why not? Wow, I can sense a little bit of cooling sensation actually. Need to be the peppermint because it's no menthol in it. But they are weak, not very strong, but uh, some cooling sensations are there for sure. Okay, gonna let that dry down and rinse out my brush.
so and to finish it off I'm gonna end it with some Singari Man Unscented Aftershave Balm in the Sego base Great stuff Yeah, this is a really nice toothpaste shave Non BBS Especially on the neck where it goes in all directions you can feel the stubbles when you when you are uh, dragging your hands across the skin, but I don't care as long as in a, it's a it's a good irritation free shave. That's much more of an importance to me anyway. A BBS shave only lasts for maybe a couple of hours anyway. And then you will feel, start feeling the stubble. And if I shave that close, I will pay for it, so it's not any reason doing it. Great, I'm gonna do a quick recap before I let it go. We shaved off three days of growth using Lump of Coal by PAA. The ladder was made with my uh, the Atomic Rocket PAA 26mm Synthetic Knot and the Razor of Choice was my good old 1930s Gillette new short comb common bar handle and that was it hope you had a good one I certainly had please subscribe if you are already not a subscriber from before uh, if you are celebrating Easter, happy Easter to you. If not, happy rest of the week. Soon it will be weekend. And until my next uh, video, goodbye.